Good morning guys, how are we all doing? Happy Monday everybody, welcome to the new week. I am Dan from Trading with Dan, hope you guys all had a great weekend. Um, yeah, let's go straight over to those Bitcoin Bitcoin for our charts. So yes, you can see we are, we're pretty much in an ascending, an ascending wedge or a rising wedge here, depending on how you want to draw it, you can adjust this line a little bit, but you can still kind of see that that is what we get in here, uh, this pattern. Uh, obviously, this has the uh, has the uh, higher likelihood uh, statistically of breaking to the downside, and obviously, as we know, we are in a uh, we have been in a pretty uh, obvious downtrend. Uh, so yeah, is this are we just printing a uh, sort of a bear flag here, uh, and we are ultimately going to break down and come lower? Um, it is obviously a distinct possibility that we've got to got to be aware of because we are looking like uh, we are uh, getting potentially a little bit tired. Uh, within this uh, within this bounce so even if we get a pullback uh, and it only gets us as low as uh, well either this support this support or maybe even all the way back down to this support um, it won't necessarily be the worst thing providing we get supported there obviously and then don't take out this low and come lower but yeah I mean ultimately probably uh, the last uh, the last line in the sand would be around 20,000 uh, we can come all the way down to there uh, have some wicks down there bounce bounce back up off there and then yeah maybe struggle with this resistance a bit get back above and then and then continue on our merry way with what would uh, uh, potentially give us a, a an even higher probability that this would be our our low and we're not going to take that out uh, obviously the flip side is we just uh, break on break on through to the upside and continue onwards and upwards um, I do think it is just going to come down to what happens with stocks I mean they've been very strong they've had a significant rally off the low they are at, a, at another level of important resistance and you can see uh, we do struggle at all these levels of uh, resistance or all of them <laughs> this one this one obviously this one here we do we do sh uh, struggle with these levels to break through uh, so it it, it would be a, um, somewhat unreasonable to expect us just to break straight through this week and continue on the up to onwards onwards and upwards I mean obviously that could happen um, but um, yeah we'll have to see so even if that doesn't happen and we trade sideways to down from here maybe even come back down to test uh, well the lower lower levels of this range uh, then yeah we'll probably will get that pullback in Bitcoin it probably will trigger uh, a bit of a move uh, a, a short move down into some of these support areas and then yeah and then like I said we just got to hope we get supported uh, and then uh, and then continue onwards onwards and upwards uh, so yeah that's really so we want to keep an eye on this resistance area for stock markets and how they do I mean we could we could just break straight through here into the next next level in which case we'd have to expect a pretty aggressive move up in bitcoin um and yeah especially seeing as it seems that bitcoin is getting toppy so if we did have that other impetus uh the people that are sort of taking profits or selling or shorting at this level which doesn't look like the worst thing to do uh would obviously then uh either flip their positions or or buy back their shorts so there could be uh, if we break through here in the stock markets, a pretty aggressive move up in Bitcoin as we break above this trend line and up towards some of these next levels uh, of resistance, 26 and a half, 28 and a half level. Um, so yeah, DXY, have a quick glance at that. Reaching reaching a bit of a level where uh, we expect it to uh, come back down from. If not, then yeah, we could see a more sustained upward price action and then ultimately a break of this uh, this uh, medium term downtrend that we've had, which obviously wouldn't be an ideal scenario. Uh, ten year uh, ten year similarly similarly at a level where it probably to maintain the downtrend needs to actually come back down from and not pushing any higher. Otherwise, we could. Uh, we could break this uh, uh, downtrend and start to have another leg up, which again wouldn't necessarily be very good. Um, oil, though, uh, easing off a little bit here, it is similarly at, at, at roughly a level where, um, in the context of this uh, down move, kind of needed to do eject from and come back lower, which it is at present. Uh, so then are we going to take out these lows and then trade lower if we do that if we uh, fully formally and substantially break and hold below this area uh, Then yeah, I do uh, think that um, that would be good for markets even though it, it is doing so off the back of uh, recessionary fears uh, But yeah, that is uh, that is that is that uh, but like ultimately especially for the markets that we'll deal with deal with we deal with like longer end tech and growth stuff um um lower basically yields uh, uh and lower growth are potentially gonna um 
um, yeah, help help at least uh, uh, support our markets, even if uh, even if they don't um, go up a lot. Uh, hopefully, it means we put in the lows. Uh, Ethereum USD having a bit of an aggressive move down here, uh, but yeah, it was battling with resistance. So um, yeah, had a pullback, wicked back up, interesting price action, and then uh, then back down. So yeah, we've got the support area. I mean, realistically, as long as we're above here. Things are looking good. Uh, it, again, unreasonable to expect us to keep continuing up and up and up and away. Um, so if we do consolidate in here, don't take out this area of support and then ultimately push towards uh, this resistance, we can break through here and continue upwards. Um, the uh, Theorem Satoshi pairing also having a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a breather here. Uh, it's got some levels uh, we could draw in. Uh, well, levels we've got drawn in. We'll just extend this box along. Uh, that resistance area there. We are at certain levels here. Um, this is obviously a major level of uh, of well of resistance. But now, hopefully, now well, well, it is support. It's below us. But hopefully, it turns as effective support. Uh, but yeah, we've got this level below us, so we can test into here. As long as we hold above here, we're still looking extremely, extremely good there. Also. Um, yeah, not much else. Not much else to look at on here. R6 stochastic is going to start uh, indicating a move down. Are they starting to roll over a bit here? Four hour is uh, certainly uh, certainly downward pressure from the four hour. Uh, ten hour turning uh, down from quite a high level, so downward pressure from the ten hour. Twelve hour uh, turning down as well. Uh, daily looking to looking to turn down as well here. Uh, by daily not looking bad though I mean I guess the ones higher levels not look so bad although three day has topped out now and looking to turn back down um, yeah even even actually the five day kind of lost uh, lost obviously it's uh, uh, some of its upside uh, momentum uh, there weekly weekly looking good though by weekly well good turn up from a lower level and then monthly we're still waiting on monthly so yeah I mean like I said I think we've got to basically if I think I think I personally think it's a simple it's as simple as just keeping an eye on that stock market uh, if we uh, break through this area and then yet yeah, all systems go we'll have another leg up if we just trade sideways to down within this area then yeah we'll see some sideways to down in Bitcoin some consolidation we want to hope we hold this support level in the in the S&P we want to hope well I say hope we hold this that would be great but I mean realistically speaking um, yeah um, this this would obviously be good to hold even just as low as here and then we've obviously got this one down here that we pretty much would need to hold but yeah we've got we've got scope to the downside um for um for consolidation uh there will potentially be accumulation in that zone um from people that are increasingly starting to think we've turned a corner in markets maybe we have maybe we haven't that is obviously still out out for debate um, but yeah, that is it guys. Uh, remember this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor Always do your own research and I shall speak to you guys soon